So I am at the Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel in San Francisco. And this is the penthouse suite. It is pretty amazing. Let me show you around. I imagine the views are incredible from up here. Um, of course, San Francisco always has some fog. You have to plan for that. Sometimes it'll be crystal clear and sometimes you won't see almost nothing. So we are back at the front door of the suite. When you come in, right on the left, you have a coat closet and a powder room. Making a U-turn at the powder room, we would go down the hallway and come right into the primary suite. Beautiful, large room, as you can see. Plenty of space to lounge out, relax on the chair, look out the window again, hoping it's not too foggy, and uh, you'd be guaranteed a beautiful view from up here on the tallest floors of the hotel. I'm sure you're wondering, is that bed as, as comfortable as it looks? And I would say, heck yes, it was a great bed. Beautiful stand-up shower over here on the right and there's actually two heads from each wall that kind of give that rain water effect along with a large soaking tub and a double vanity. Amazing what one day can do. The fog is gone. Check out this view, huh? But even just as stunning, let's take a look around this lobby. I don't know about you, I love, love, love historic hotels that just have so much history in them. So many things that have happened there and uh, just fantastic. One of the most famous parts of the hotel is the top of the mark. It is literally above our penthouse and it is a truly famous site, but we couldn't get up there. Uh, it only opens after 5 p.m. So I guess I'll just have to come back and check it out. I couldn't help but get enchanted with the history the original owner of the property, Mark Hopkins, started building a mansion and never lived to see it be completed. Uh, after his passing, the house was finally built and then sadly destroyed in the Great Earthquake of San Francisco. Uh, it wasn't until years later that it was actually became a hotel and it became the meeting place of where the United Nations was first created. They also have some memorabilia of some old menus and they talk about a staff shortage back then in the 1930s and uh, I don't think I would have been able to get dairy free food. Uh, makes me sad. So I'm happy I'm visiting today. It's 
Standing in front of the hotel on Knob Hill, you can't help but just be in awe of the city. San Francisco is just so beautiful and so romantic. Um, we ended up deciding not to have breakfast in the hotel, but instead found a cute little spot down California Street on the corner of California and Larkin. And they just had some incredible food, great service. It was really fast to get seated, even though they were busy, um, but absolutely loved it.